Last night, American and Allied airborne forces boarded their planes and took off towards France. Shortly after midnight this morning, and despite the German anti-aircraft defenses, our boys set foot behind enemy lines in Normandy. Greatest Armada ever assembled opened fire and proceeded to land assault troops on the shores of France. The liberation of Europe is underway as we speak. Both airborne divisions have been blown to the four winds all over the Cotentin Peninsula. Let's hope it'll disorganize the Germans as we planned. Half the men have been misdropped, sir, including ourselves. We seem to have landed at the boundaries between our 82nd and the 101st. Way too far from the division's objectives at St. Marigliis and the bridges over the Merderay River. Yet we aren't the only ones completely off mark. The first amphibious assault wave has just hit the beach right on schedule, but much further south than planned. That is just east of our present position. New orders from Division HQ, sir. You are placed in charge of a provisional task force, gathering any isolated paratroopers in the area, whatever their unit, and securing Eau de Ville La Hubert to allow our ground force to exit the beach as quickly as possible. The city and vicinities are held by a mere company of infantry. We must seize it as quickly as possible and put Eau de Ville in a state of defense to repel any attempts by the Germans to recapture it, and then counterattack quickly to open the way. The German coastal defenses are manned by auxiliary troops of poor military value, but they are supported by heavy guns. Any help we could provide in destroying those guns would hasten the amphibious forces' advance inland. Objective, I'll do All right, hello. We're doing the campaign for Steel Division, of course. This is Mission Run, Hedro Hell for the 82nd Airborne. So let's see what we got available to us. Okay, dude, we don't need a uh, guide. Okay, yeah, that's pretty mixed. I like that. Hmm. Can we get a phase? Oh, we can only get one a phase M2. Engineers are good. We've got some rifles. Yeah, glider rifles. Okay, don't have any tanks, of course, because we're just bloody airborne. Honestly, yeah, this is, looks pretty decent. We're just going to use what the game gives us. So we got to do a two-pronged assault. On Autoville. Okay, so let's uh, see here. Got this sort of town to capture, and then this sort of town. This would be easier for close quarters engagement. Yeah, it's very CQC. Uh, probably get a machine gun squad in here. Maybe get a jeep over here. So let us see. Okay, do do jeep 50 cal, and then machine gun squad. Got some pathfinders, some rifles, already got a decent amount of mortars, and I'm happy the infantry anymore would be a little bit too ridiculous over here. And on this hand side, I guess you guys, can I move you? Okay, no I can't, that's not cool. I guess, well, hmm. I am guess you guys push through here, and then you guys push through here. Uh, once again, let's just get a Jeep 50 cal. For some good old fire support. And, uh, hmm. Probably need an anti tank gun. Let's just get two cheap pack guns on either side. Not pack guns, uh, 35 mils. And off we go. So let's start moving everyone up to take his bloody town. 
And oh, already taken fire. Yeah, we're just gonna pull back, not gonna bother with that. Everyone else is gonna move up. And as you see, the beast landings go in okay. It's pretty cool having a whole separate thing going on. Reminds me of World in Conflict a little bit. As we're just the uh, small cog in the machine. So let's make sure to group our mortar. Should have got a mortar on this hand side. Now I think about it. So let's move the pathfinders and riflemen up. Get a rifle over here, rifle over here, pack gun over here. And the same with you guys, let's try to keep you spread out. So we do have machine gun in the air, I believe. Let's pop some smoke on it. Get MG over there. So artillery. Oh, he yeah, has a two two three. Okay, are you in range to give fire support? Yes you are, just barely. It might be better to get you up here now that I think about it. Control one, control two. Here we go. Okay, get in, get in. Wasn't really planning to do that with the pathfinders here, but here we go. I saw Stroopin stunning us up. Let's get a Jeep 50 cal over here. And we've got all them stunned up in the middle, which is very good. Stop you here. Pathfinders holding their own. Get everyone else moving up. Control free for you. And you got a Jeep 50 cal, providing to be very useful. Oh, can we get in range? Good kill, good kill. Nice. Okay, we need to get the mortars firing. I uh, got another infantry squad over here. Uh, more rifles never hurts. Okay, damn, we're doing a pretty good job. Pretty much got them mostly in circle, it's just that final part that needs to get her uh, knocked out. As they're still holding the town. Okay, we're already taking some contact over here. Let's get the rifles up here, and still on A phase. I'm guessing once we do the counter attack, we got to set up AT guns. Let's get these guys really close. Okay, silence the guns over here. I guess that's why we had these guys over here, huh? Uh, do we... I guess we could start moving you guys down south. You guys are doing a pretty good job retaking that town. Uh, can't get a command thing yet. Could get some infantry just to help clear it up. Yeah, we need to get those mortars firing. Start moving the infantry up. I mean, it's just off droop and nothing too crazy. I mean, they pretty much give you fire support advantage at starting. Okay, nice. We've pretty much got the town under control. We're going to get a 76 gun. 
Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. That's just gonna set us up for any counterattacks that may happen or probably will happen. I set you guys up down below. Get a 50 cal up. You're gonna come and finish in the town, and you're gonna be recon. We've got a lot of cover here, which is very nice. Damn, I'm really liking this campaign quite a lot already. Oh, we did lose a 50 cal jeep, got a bit too close here. Uh, let's move you in right close. Start pounding away. Oh, oh, damn, that's cool. That's really cool. Jesus. Let's see how the battle's going on over here. Got all the D-Day tanks landing. I'm making progress inwards. Okay, we already spotted gun number one. Do they have close range capability? No, it says SK-18s. Sorry, God. Here, here, and here. Okay, there's a few final dudes. And there's our AT gun. And that's in... Well, it should be in a very good spot in a second. Unless you lose the jeep. That's not cool. Okay, there's some Austro troopers back here. Nothing too crazy. I'm thinking it might just be a good idea to get a mortar piece up here. Start silencing the guns. Do a pretty pre-battery work. There we go, okay. We can put a Pathfinder over here. We only got two minutes left before they start the attack. But damn, that one. A few Ostroopans are holding in strong. Come on, start moving up. There's not too much else I can really bring to help out. Secondary AT gun. Actually, you could probably bring it up here. Hmm. Now I'm pretty happy with that spot. Where's our other AT gun we brought? Here yeah, it is. We're gonna bring it over here to cover our flank. And yeah, we're still attacking through. I really should be using smoke. Uh, we could get a machine gun squad, but I don't really think we're gonna need that. That's a good idea, man. I should actually bring up some MGs. MG. MG. Anti-tank. Uh, let's get another 37mm. Can't go too wrong with him. And where should we put the rest of you? Because we need to keep the jeeps somewhat protected. And that's going to be a good spot for spotting. We could probably just move a jeep over here. Just for fire support to cover the flank. Mortars are in a decent position. You're going to get them in a decent uh, position. If that's even a uh, word. And we need to start positioning everyone else to the south of the town. We probably... Can they enter out with a tank? Yes, they can. Machine gun. Yeah, airborne rifles really does make us quite simple. Yeah, I'm taking my street arse time silencing those guns. Oh, it does kill fastest, Joe. It does. 
I uh, put the rifles over here to hold out tree line. Okay, got some half tracks so far, nothing too crazy. A 37mm gun's not exactly where I want it, but it's not bad. We are in speed phase now. So let's see, AT gun. Okay, now we gotta hold for uh, 30 minutes. Oh boy. Can we get. Yeah, let's get the M20 over here to facilitate its attack. See those, eight, those artillery guns getting pounded. I'm guessing we get something uh, fancy. For finishing them off. Jesus Christ, that is a right slaughter. Start pounding the rain mortars. Do we have another machine gun? Yeah, we do. We have you over here. Get you into the actual buildings. Okay, it seems like I'm not going to go around to flank. So we might as well place her over here for now. Uses an ambush. Can we get proper artillery? You can start getting some 105 mil howitzers, which is pretty awesome. So captured our say supply truck too. And I feel like I want to get some gliders over here, maybe. Oh, 50 cal machine gun's going to be fantastic, yo. Slap bang air. Yeah, in a good spot to cover at field. Yeah, in a pretty good spot to cover this field. That's an even better spot over here. Flanks pretty well secured. We don't have anything over here. I'm still pretty paranoid that they might do some tomfoolery. So we're just going to get something over here just in case. Oh, is that our other... Seven? No, that's a 57mm gun. Where can we put you? That's a pretty sneaky spot. I like it. I like it. Airborne leaders. Yeah, it's given out. Hmm. And the house of Beats Landing going. It's going fine. Oh, there's a gun, and there's still a gun over here. And this is pretty simple right now. Nothing too crazy. The machine gun can't cover that, so. Move you around a little bit. And if we can just sneak the AT gun over here, that's going to ambush anything that comes down that road. Okay, so they're really not going to come over here. So, we can at least put recon to cover. And then just keep the rifles in that little tree line. Okay, here's our 50 car MG. Just thinking, hmm... That's an okay spot, but you do have a blind spot, yo. Yeah, it's just next to the AT gun. I don't like putting AT guns right next to each other, but... It's not going... I think it's going to go too bad. Oh, yes! Some actual contact. They're pushing through here. I was not expecting that. We're going to get a heavy machine gun squad to cover. And... That's a pretty sneaky spot for an AT gun. I like that. I like it a lot. We're just going to get glider rifles to cover. Were you taking some fire? Okay, let's actually go back down here because I've completely negated this once again. I really should have done this a long time ago, but here we are. I guess we could bring the supply trucks up.
Thank God I don't have tanks. Rifles holding rail. We could actually probably get some engineers right here. That'd be an even better spot for NGs. Because they just get flamed as they try to go through the forest. Oh yeah, there's, there's some contacts. Let's bring in the Pathfinders to help clear that up. The path, yeah, Pathfinders are pretty good CQC weaponry. And it's the last of machine guns. Or oh, artillery pieces. Uh, bring you up here. And we'll bring you somewhere up here. Our Pathfinder's in a pretty silly spot, so we're going to get him in a not-so-silly spot. The machine gun up. And you can just barely... Cover that gap. That's your goal, buddy. I never knew a Sherman was part of a balanced diet. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Shooting up guys. Let's get you out. So, AT guns. We, we can easily spend some money. Some glider rifles. Airborne leader. See what you can do. Oh, I don't like how to run bid. Out of range. These bloody artillery pieces are such short range. I really risk the engineers and go out direction, but here we are. Okay, you go here. You go here for spotting purposes. And if we can plop the AT gun, just yeah, we'll be in a good spot. I'm going to get a leader over here to help facilitate. Okay, so there's an, e there's an AA gun over here somewhere. I mean, that's we're just going to have to find out. And we're going to start moving you guys up. I like it, so you're having to hold a main objective while having to do side objectives. You know, it's pretty simple stuff, but it's working quite well. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. And that person hard now field. Oh, should pull you back here. Yeah. yeah, the MG still has bloody crazy range. We're gonna move the machine gun up. Mortar's gonna start pounding. Okay, just get over here, supply trucks, I don't know. Okay, you guys have to take a long walk. Can we get any other vehicles? I reckon yeah, supply, other... Not supply, support. Half track, M20. Is that a 50 cal? Yeah, it's a 50 cal. Bang on. Let's position you just here. Did lose an opal blitz, but whatever. Nice kill on an AT gun. That's where he could just, yeah, support you. Okay, that's a big force coming up. Where's our engineers? Yes, they are. We're going to get another squad of engineers over here. And let's see our AT guns getting some very good side shots. Just enough to keep them occupied. Should get a 50 car over here too. Oh, do already have a 50 car I'm talking about. Now, if they do try to rush, they're going to get lit up. Oh, C phase. I believe we don't really get enough in the C phase, but... There we go. It's a very slow truck. Glider right. Oh, damn. I didn't realize they are a 10-man squad. That's very good.
Oh, you're just out of range to really do anything, yeah. And if we can get you in that building, you're going to be in a nice little position to start pounding away. Everyone rifles in a good spot. And I believe, hey, now you're providing some very good cover in the fire. Oh, he has a machine gun there. Or we could just use artillery to just blow his entire thing up. Okay, as our engineers. Honestly, we should just move the machine guns to this little tree line. They'll be in a much better position. And if they get shot at, you just pull them back. Oh, barely in range. Oh, you only have 500 meter range, I forgot. I keep thinking it's 600. And in this position, the engineers are going to have a very good time. Oh, they, they got artillery. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a <laughs> great job of these side objectives. They've already got DD tanks pushing through. There you go. Already got one squad to surrender with the flamethrowers. Anytime it has come across that little field, they're going to get burnt to a crisp. And there's our 50 cal. There we go. Heavy firepower. And it's just about creating choke points. We've got some very good choke points set up already. Oh, and there goes a uh, HMC, whatever it's called. And it uh, seems like our guys are almost meant to make a full-on breakthrough to support us. DD tanks helping out. One of them got destroyed. That's not cool. And this is it's a very easy choke point to hold. Too bad at like things in the ray. Oh, that's a good spot actually for the machine gun. Okay, do do do. Okay, that's one of the eighty eights. Let's just open fire on you, try to knock you out. Yeah, you're still good in ammunition. Okay, only got another 12 minutes left. I'm guessing once we knock out the 88mm guns. Oh, that bloody MG42. Let's get some airborne rifles. 50 cow squad. And the glider rifle. Oh, they only have 200 shots for the bar. I'm guessing the problem is when you attack them with glider rifles, they only ever use the bar until they get into crazy close range. And too bad you can't. Like, let's say you have, like, a, you know, like, glider rifles, for example. You can make it so when the attack move, they only stop at 300 meters and not 400 meters. Because there's other units like engineers that benefit from getting in close, even though they may have longer range guns. Oh, I just realized, they're packed, they're flat guns. They have this giant HE shell. So, I don't want to just engage directly. 
We want to get some artillery pounding array. There we go. And let's resupply artillery with a truck. Even though we probably had some trucks over here, we could have resupplied with any ray. And there's the DDs helping us. Ballsy making it through. Oh, Jesus. Thought they were a bit more pinned down, but... I guess I stand corrected. Ah, I'll just continue to assault. Okay, we're just gonna rush you up. Oh, I thought he'd be more pinned down. But alas, I was wrong. Eighty-eight mils? Eighty-eight mils, okay. Here's our second pair. We've got a bunch of infantry as well. Ready to come up. And come on. Okay, you can stop firing the mortars. I could have gone a bit more smoother. Okay, let's run down. I was kinda hoping you surrender, but I'll just see you at point blank range, that works for me. There we go. And I'll think of these guys, we should just be, uh, just smoke it. Then we can just rush right in. How are we holding in town? We got the DDs, yeah, we're good. We're all very good. I'm not even going to bother using mortars. Okay, we're just going to call in regular artillery now. I have a feeling they're going to get a good shot off. Yeah, you guys need to resupply ammo a little bit. You're very low. There we go. And let's just get one more in. If we all just... There we go. Stop the barrage. The M20 does not want to go around the corner first. There we go. Already got the supply truck to fall back. And get in there. Automatically pinned down. So he already get, he managed to get a shot off quickly if he, on the M20. That's why I didn't want to lead it in first, but those 88s are destroyed. And those are the dogs barking. I do apologize. And yeah, we're doing a pretty good job. We don't only have to hold for another seven minutes now. And it's looking pretty easy breezy. We're just going to get some more artillery. Have a supply truck. Now his engineers are holding very well. AT gun, we're going to fall back. I'm uh, just going to keep you alive. And they're just out of range of the uh, flamethrower. Yeah, let's give them a bit of burny fun. To oh, never mind. They surrendered before we could burn them. That's not cool. I did lose your uh, 37 mil, but that's not too bad. Let's pull you back because... We don't want to be risking you. And you're still in range to suit stuff. That's that's nice. And the AI is finishing up the rest of the pockets. There's no point moving these guys up. They've done their duty. 50 cows. Bloody tearing it apart. We might as well move one of our opal blitches to resupply.
Yeah, this is very simple. Let's just speed this up. Because we've already got, yeah, we got recon plane now helping out. M7DD as well. Oh god, oh, let's slow that down. That was a nasty shot, yeah. Knocked out the 50 cal, but that's not, not too bad. Where's that artillery piece? So yeah, CSG, let's knock that out. Get those guys too. Oh, you're out of range. Let's just. Can, they, can I load you on that? Oh no, you can't. You're heavy. You're too heavy. Speed it up. And we're just going to keep our artillery pinned down and we're, we're good to go. Only another four minutes left. And here's the tanks, right at the end. And I think that's to be a good, good game. No, we just have to kill the rest of the dudes. And they're just going to bomb it to bits. Let's... That's... Uh, <laughs> oh, God. That's cool. That's very cool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's not really too much to clear the ray roof. Just gonna fall back. Move up the rest of the blokes. Here comes the tanks. And they're just gonna, yeah, just gonna run right into the pathfinders. You're gonna run right into the engineers. Oh no, he's pulled them back. Okay, artillery really just needs to finish this up. Oh god. I'm getting a bit too cocky out at the end. As the rest of the guys start clearing the ray. Got them to surrender. Oh, Jesus. Damn it, those MG 42s are vicious. Absolutely vicious. Here comes the rest of the tanks. There we go. Yeah, you know, it's a bit slower on the AT guns, but nonetheless, GG, we got the victory. Uh, acceptable losses, I guess. 
And so, that was mission number one. We'll see you guys next time for mission number two.